All right, it's a cold one, but we got to do it. So we're going to adjust our clutch pedal on this Honda Civic here. I can figure out how to get the seat back. We're going to have to lay upside down in the car. And uh, what I brought is a 12 millimeter and adjustable. And uh, right now, when my mom had the car, she liked the clutch pedal to engage really far up. I can't stand uh, having my foot almost touch my chest, letting out the clutch. So I'm gonna crawl under here and uh, hopefully this is the right tools. And pretty much our goal is to get it where pretty much as soon as maybe, you know, half inch off the, the pedal or engage really quick. Um, I just like a shorter uh, engagement on my clutch. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to do it and how I was taught to adjust to one far is what is enough and not enough for um, the pedal height. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, so here we are. I am cramped, but uh, right there is our clutch. So I was wrong. Well, it looks like there is a, a nut on the back right in there that we got loosened and we're going to take the pin out i think unless we could turn the whole shaft not going to be able to do much recording other than just explain what i'm doing we might have to take the spring out too i know on the f bodies there's a spring you can kind of see above it somewhere in there that uh helps uh pull the brake pedal back up but sometimes it gives you a false engagement so we're gonna adjust it and uh, see what happens. Let me, I think we got a cotter pin we're gonna have to move, so I'm gonna have to get some dikes. All right, gonna be hard to record, but really easy. So it was a 12 millimeter to loosen up this back nut here. You can see I'm spinning. And luckily the whole uh, shaft moved. Let's see if I can't show it. Well, anyways, uh, the whole shaft moved. So we didn't have to take this piece off and uh, just I spun it until the brake pedal just went deeper and deeper and I'm going to stop there it's pretty much we don't have much left that we go well, you can see I'm spinning it now so and we're just pulling in the brake pedal uh, closer to the floor so I'm going to crank up the car and uh, see how our engagement is all right so the pedal is super low to the ground we might have went too far let's make sure our car is in neutral and let's start it. It should not move. Well, it ain't gonna move because it's a neutral. Turn the air off. So what we should have now is we should be able to put the car into first with no grinding. And yeah, that's pretty low. So the next test is that I was taught was to put it in reverse. Oh, so that might have been, but my pet, my foot engagement might have been wrong. Reverse. No, that seemed fine. So let's move the car and see if it does the same thing. Oh boy. It's on the ground. For a new driver, that's probably going to be pretty rough because if you was learning, because it, you barely move your foot and you're already moving. So now. Okay, neutral should go in reverse. I don't think it did. It did then. Which that might be just the, you know, gears lashing. Should go in, in the first, no problem. Yeah. I think I'm going to roll with that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we're going to roll with that. Man, that went too easy. So that's a 101. We're going to tighten down our 12 millimeter, uh, our, our backing nut with the 12 millimeter and call it a day. That's adjusting your clutch on your 99 Honda Civic. Oh, I guess I can show you the car. Uh, this is a, just for reference. It's a, this a 99 Honda Civic. I think these are EKs. Uh, it's an EX with a D16. So uh, something I did notice before though, sometimes 
when these cars get warmer everything expands a little bit and that can cause it to engage so i might move it up just a hair of uh, my trans am cold like this it would shift fine and then you'll start having grinding issues because you set it so close to the ground so i probably will give it a couple of turns out uh so we just don't have to do this again anyway hey so good morning so say you did the clutch adjustment like i posted a video about and now everything was going good but this morning just happened to be a little bit colder than the other mornings and you can't get your car into first or reverse what do you do you're late for work already you just need to get there you just need a little bit of time to fix it later so i've i've hit that road right now i uh this morning i was able to leave the house sh using the tip that i'm about to show you and then i got to the gas station to get fuel and i had no reverse because my pedal isn't disengaging the clutch good enough so what i'm going to show you is is how to get by um i learned this on my trans am while uh, having the same issue until you can just get it home at a better time so well, I'm about to show you how to do that. I'm not going to be able to show you exactly what to do because the car does have a little heat in it, so it will go in a first right now. But what you do is you cut your car off like we are now. You go ahead and put your car in the gear that you want to be in, and then you start the car in that gear. And then you're good to go, and you can uh, get on where you need to go. Usually after you drive it for a little while, it, like I said, the transmission and everything will warm up and you'll get the clearance you need good enough to get going. And usually it'll definitely let you go into like third and fifth. Second could be a little notchy. Uh, we'll try it right now to see if I can give an example. See, I was able to go in reverse, but like literally five minutes ago, it wouldn't let me go in reverse. But anyway, that's how to get yourself home or get you to work or wherever you need to get, you know, at that time until you can get back under that dash and uh give your pedal some more adjustment i knew it was low we gave it a few extra turns the other morning but it wasn't enough so anyways i hope that helps somebody uh get out of a tight bind uh, it took me probably two weeks of just sitting there idling in my driveway you know for you know five ten minutes at a time just trying 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 to finally like just cut the car off like i only have my clutch my foot's up it goes in without it and then start the car and i was able to get where i need to go thank you all for coming by i hope that helps somebody and on to the next one